Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting. I appreciate you being here at the channel today. And if you're just now finding us, this is your first time here, hey, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit that like button. I appreciate it. And if you'd like to learn more about me and learn more about my company, you know, please check out the links below. Uh, I would point out a couple links there that I would suggest taking a look at, depending on where you're at in your business, is check out the, the courses link with our gym management playbook. You know, the gym management playbook, it's been specifically designed to help you shorten the learning curve, you know, speed up that learning process and to help you maximize profitability, maximize sales and that nature. Um, and for you folks that are brand new to the industry, you're just getting started or you're struggling at it, this is an ideal tool really to help you uh, take you to that next level. So check out that link and see if it's for you. And then uh, number two, you know, a lot of action right now, a lot of activity with new clubs being started, a lot of uh, anticipation there, uh, and a lot of clubs uh, that want to expand, a lot of clubs that want to add more marketing, add more services. So check out the funding link below where you can potentially qualify for up to $250,000 in funding uh, with no collateral. So with that said, our topic for you today is how to be great at gym membership sales and still enjoy yourself. How to be great at gym membership sales and still enjoy yourself. I've got five thoughts here for you. Listen up, see if this can help you take your business to a whole new level and have fun while you do it. So number one, we must have a positive attitude. You know, you don't get anywhere else unless we start with that one. If you're looking at the dark side and the negative of everything that happens, we're in trouble right out of the gate. You know, you've got to, got to get in that habit of looking for the good, looking for what's working, looking for what's right. You know, glass is half full. And if you struggle with that, I mean, make this a high priority thing because everything we do is really built on that platform of a positive attitude. Okay, and if you know people that have those kind of attitudes and are like that, you know, start hanging around them a little more and, and some of that stuff will start to kind of rub off a little bit and you start to develop some of those same habits. But first and foremost, we have to have a positive attitude. We can't simply go, oh yeah, this always happens to me. Oh yeah, they never show up. Oh yeah, they're not going to be interested. Oh yeah, it's going to be slow today. I mean, we can't go that route. Okay, we've, we've got to have that positive um, expectancy to win. Uh, number two is you want to develop personal and professional goals, okay? Personal and professional productivity goals. You know, set some goals. You know, what kind of goals do you have for yourself? Um, you know, make sure you know what they are. Be clear on them, and they can change, but know what they are. You know, maybe on the, on the, on the personal side is, you know, you're looking to uh, save up so you can buy that big house on the hill, Okay, or maybe you want to take the family you know, to a vacation. You know, on that, that business side, those production goals. You know, maybe you want to own your own gym one day. Maybe you want to oversee uh, a large operation of facilities. Maybe you want to manage the club where you're at. Okay, depending on what your current role is. Okay, but the big thing here is make sure we establish goals. And what I would suggest you do: the bigger, the better. Okay, it doesn't cost anything to think bigger. It's a free thing to do, okay? But then what you do is you write out an action plan that matches those new goals. So don't get in the habit of that small think when you're talking about goals, but let's make sure we get our goals in place. Uh, number three, we're gonna have to prospect, okay? We're gonna have to prospect. We need to keep our pipeline full. What we wanna do, what you wanna do, is you wanna stay proactive, okay, in getting people to walk through your front door. Okay, don't be reactive. If you're reactive, you're waiting for the phone to ring, you're waiting for people to come in, and maybe if they do, maybe you do a good job. Okay, but what if they don't? And what if they don't for a few days? What if they don't for a month? Okay, you'd be in trouble, right? So we want to make sure we're constantly prospecting. What are we doing, you know, to get people to come in? I mean, you can have local companies. You might have, uh, you know, it's a free workout day uh, for a local apartment complex. Okay, think about putting something like that together that could get potentially thousands of people to walk in. You know, don't be afraid to think big. You know, you can think one at a time. It's fine too. make those calls. It's all part of it. But, you know, local businesses, you know, you might have a team building day with a local business. 
you know, you might have a, a business of the week program, you know, with local businesses that come in. So a lot of things you can do there, but we want to make sure we're constantly prospecting, keep that pipeline full. Uh, number four, you need to know your presentation. Okay, you need to know what your sales process is. You need to know your membership price presentation. You need to know your second sale presentation. Okay, and you can find all of this here on the site. You know, just uh, just uh, type it in the search bar, and you'll find the, the videos on how to do that. But you have to know your presentation. And as a lot of you have heard me say before, we want to memorize this. But the reason you memorize it is so that you're free to be yourself. It's what you learn in the theater for any of you folks that have been on stage. You know, why do you memorize your lines? You memorize them so you're free to be yourself. So know your sales process, you know, know your price presentation, know your second sale, know your personal training presentation, know your telephone inquiry script, know your presentation, commit it to memory. You can search those again, those, you can search those uh, different videos here on the channel. And then number five, you have to ask for the sale, okay? We have to ask for the sale, okay? And again, lots of other videos that are specific to that. The comment I would make on asking for the sale, the way I like to look at it is we want to have decent boldness. And what I mean by decent is we're friendly, we're courteous, and we're respectful. We're friendly, we're courteous, and respectful. Decent. Bold, what do I mean by that? If you don't ask, the answer is always no. So Mary, what do you say? Can we go ahead and get you started today? It can be that simple. Mary, both these programs are gonna help you get the results you're looking for and get off that medication. Mary, of the two, which one's gonna suit your needs the best? Something that can be as simple as that, but you have to know it just like you have to know your presentation. So folks, appreciate you being here today. Again, if you're new to the channel, if you've just found us, you know, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit that like button. I appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing you all in that next video.